had to light the classic. You gotta do fresh balsam before anything. vlog fam starting off a new vlog um i have vlogged in a couple days i did not sleep well last night at all since the time change <laughs> falling back and it's funny because like you kind of get you gain an hour of sleep but i just the first couple days it always just throws me off a little bit um but today is monday i just filmed a try on haul like this super comfy set here look at this super comfy set it's got like lounge pants a tank top and then like a robe it's from Shein. it's very cute so that haul will probably go up after this um but i was driving last night yara and i were driving and we saw four houses with their christmas lights up it's the first week of well it's past the first week of november but i'm telling you since the pandemic people are here for the christmas spirit and I am loving it. I'm loving it. So I am contemplating putting up some Christmas decor. I need to pull up all the Christmas decor from the basement and go through it so we can go shopping and see what we need, what we're keeping. I really want to go to Walmart. Everyone said there's so much good Walmart stuff this year. I also saw on TikTok this girl got like this six foot like weeping willow white tree with lights and it was stunning i kind of want to put it in the corner over there so hopefully i can find it but we'll be doing some decorating in this vlog some sorting and decluttering of the old christmas stuff what we're going to donate so yeah i just thought i would start the vlog now because i feel cute and i finally have some makeup on and i'll probably take it off soon since i just finished filming but um i did the naked honey palette from urban decay and it's really pretty lots of gold all right, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. I need to make myself some lunch. All right, y'all, making a new recipe for dinner. So I'm making buffalo chicken mac and cheese, but with cauliflower instead of pasta. So we'll see, we'll see how it comes out. I already have my chicken cut up into bite-sized pieces. I need garlic, buffalo sauce, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella, cream cheese, blue cheese, lots of cheese, butter, um, a little bit of heavy cream, cauliflower, so the first thing we're gonna do is roast the cauliflower. So I'm just gonna wash this and cut it up. Okay, now I'm gonna do olive oil. I love this olive oil dispenser because not that much comes out so I can really like distribute it without a ton coming out. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it and then I'm just gonna season with salt and pepper and then in the oven on 400 for about 20 minutes. Okay, so I made the cheese sauce part. I put buffalo sauce on the chicken. The uh, cauliflower is all done roasting. All right, a little avocado oil on the bottom. Now I'm gonna put cauliflower down first. So I ended up roasting mine a little longer just because I like mine really soft. I think it ended up being just about 30 minutes. Real talk, I love cauliflower, but it kind of gives me a stomach ache. <laughs> but like, I love cauliflower so much, I'm willing to sacrifice a little gasping later <laughs> all right so i'll link the recipe below because i know i'm kind of all over the place here so put down cauliflower put down the chicken on top and now we're gonna spread the cheese sauce over the top it says to mix it just slightly you guys, I honestly feel like this is going to be so bomb. And then we're going to sprinkle on a little more Parmesan, not Parmesan, mozzarella and blue cheese crumbles. Comment below if you like blue cheese or not. It's such a polarizing cheese. <laughs> I love it though. And then it's going to go back in for 15 more minutes till it's nice and bubbly. All right, before the oven. And here is after it was baked. I already ate some for dinner. Guys, this is so freaking delicious. <laughs> um, the recipe did call for celery on top as well, but I did not have celery and I didn't feel like going to the grocery store, but this is absolutely delicious. So 
I'll link the recipe below if you want to try it. Good morning, guys. I have a little surprise. I have a hair appointment today. I have been vacillating for the last few months about cutting my hair. Listen, it's my destiny. It's just, <laughs> it's just what I have to do. I This is not news to you guys. <sighs> Every couple years, I chop it into a bob. And then I'm like, I'm gonna grow it out. <laughs> And then I cut it into a bob. I won't lie though, I love my hair in a bob. I love it. It's where I honestly feel the most like myself. And that's what I'm all about. So, you know, blonde Alex, bob Alex is where I feel uh, the most like me. And honestly, like my hair grows pretty fast. So if I do want to grow back out, I'll probably repeat this cycle till the day I die. <laughs> Uh, but it's super early. It is 8.20. I guess it's not that early. Um, but my hair appointment's at 9. And we're gonna go chop it all off. It's gonna feel so good. Honestly, my hair is so thick. When it's long, I, I wear it down. And for like a couple hours, it gets so knotted underneath. It's just, it's just not worth it to me. It's not worth it to me. And I like the way it looks short. So... I don't know why I'm trying to justify it, but I'm super excited. I've been thinking about it and like, ugh, like last week I was just like, screw it. Like I'm done. I'm going to make an appointment. So here we go. And I want to know if you guys are the same way, but I got up and did my makeup early because I, <laughs> when I get my hair done, if I don't have makeup on, I like, after I get it done, I can't enjoy it as <laughs> I know that probably sounds so stupid. Let me know if you are the same way. But yeah, when I am, um, <laughs> when I get my hair done, it's so nice having makeup on because I feel like I can enjoy the hair after. I don't know. It might sound silly. It might sound silly, but it's my reality. So, and then I have, and then I thought about it. I'm like, wait, <laughs> I have an eye appointment right after my haircut. <laughs> Just like, um, you know, a usual eye appointment, you know, they put the drops in and look and poof and all the stuff to your eyes, which I don't like at all. Like I'm telling you guys, I could not even wear contact. Oh my God. I'll never forget my grandma taking me to the eye doctor like multiple times because I wanted to do contacts and I just could not touch my eye. I just could not do it. It took me so many tries to get it and I hated it. I really didn't like anything touching my eye or anything with eyes in general. So, you know, <laughs> once I finally got it, it just made life a lot easier with even these appointments. But I thought about it after and I'm like, this is gonna be messy afterwards for my makeup because you know how like when they put the drops in, like it ro the, that those yellow drops roll down your cheeks. <laughs> I have lashes on. I'm like, this was so pointless. I should have made I should have made my appointment for after my eye appointment, but whatever. I also really need to get um, a pedicure. I have a manicure appointment later this week, but my toes <laughs> need a pedicure. So anyway, good morning. Good morning, people. Got my hair cut on my eye appointment. looks so good hello i am home for my eye appointment i just kind of refreshed my makeup a little bit because it was all messed up <laughs> i'm home i love 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 the hair but i am gonna throw a little bend in it with my wand and i just kind of want to see how it looks but you know it looks really pretty straight like this but i'm gonna do a little curl action so i'll show that to you guys and then uh, I also still haven't gone to get my pedicure yet because I came home to have lunch. Okay, so here is how it looks with a little bend in it, just a little wave. I love it. I think I like it better with the wave. What do we think? Wave? Straight? Let me know. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to do a little Christmas decorating tonight. I just put on one of my favorite Christmas movies, Christmas with the Cranks. I watch it every year a few times. I literally have bought it. I don't know why. It's just one of my favorite Christmas movies. So I just put up the tree I got from Home Goods. 
I thought it looked pretty cute there. And my mom painted me this Christmas wreath next to this pumpkin. So I'm gonna take down our fall stuff. Yara will be back from Army tomorrow, so it'll be kind of exciting to surprise him with some Christmas decor. And of course we'll do the tree together, but that probably won't be until after Thanksgiving because I was checking tree farms. No one has any till after Thanksgiving. Oh, that's fun little hairdo here. So I'm gonna go, I was gonna wait for him to like help me bring up all the Christmas stuff. But like, I can't wait, I'm too excited. So I'm gonna bring it up. Okay, I just brought up a bunch from the basement. Oh, I just wanna kinda go through it. This is mostly dishware. This is one of my favorite, favorite pillows. Um, I've had it for years now. But these gold trees, it's such a soft, fluffy pillow. Okay, it looks like the rest is actually all dishware. I had bought a bunch of this beautiful dishware. I think it's from Lennox. And I just wanted to have all matching dishware for when I host Christmas Eve every year for the Christmas Eve party and something I can just keep for lifelong. So, you know, I have like ladders, bowls, cheese and cracker plates. I have all sorts of stuff. I bought these mugs last year at Target. I'm obsessed. I still love them. So cute. Um, I think I had bought this at a boutique, if I'm not mistaken, but this glitter bottom free tree. My little Charlie Brown. Oh, there's a motorcycle going by. <laughs> Um, and then this gold tree I've had for years. And we've got this, one of my favorite pieces. I will keep this forever. I love this big little, Twas the Night Before Christmas. <laughs> like I said big little, I don't know why we always say little. Um, but this piece of art is just so cute. I love it. I'm probably gonna put it in the same spot as last year in place of the black and white painting. All right, pretend you guys are hanging out at my house and watching this with me, the movie. We're looking through decorations. So we've got our stockings with the little monogram. Guys, we have the, <laughs> the butcher. Um, we have the Grinch. Do you guys remember last year, the inflatable Grinch that sits in your car passenger seat? Can't wait to use that again. This is one of my favorite wreaths. Had this for years. Gonna put this on one of our front doors. Oh, and then we have this beautiful garland here with the silver, the gold. I'm a big silver and gold girl for Christmas. Um, so this will go either on the mantle or the staircase. That pumpkin, you gotta go. Your time's over. The garland is back on the stairs. Yay. And I found the mistletoe I bought last year, which will go back up there. I'll probably be swapping a lot of stuff around as I go. I love this little guy I got last year at Target. So I'm thinking of swapping this out for this, but again, I kind of like to put everything out and play around. I gotta set the mood, light some Christmas candles. I had to light the classic. You gotta do fresh balsam before anything. Okay, we've made quite a bit of progress. You guys already saw, I think, the garland. Then I put this garland, which I love. It looks like a champagne-y, silvery gold. And then we've got these reindeer stocking holders. I think those are both from Pottery Barn and Home Goods. I have not decided what I'm doing here yet. I've kind of started a little something here. Don't know yet. My dear husband loves his home pod, <laughs> but it might have to get moved. I've got this O Night Divine. I think it's from Walmart. I think both are from Walmart. Uh, last year, found some more mugs. I think these are two years old. Mr. and Mrs. Claus, I think, from Target. These nice little poinsettias. This was all of our like red and green decor, which goes in our little movie room. Definitely not tackling that now. We've got this beautiful light up tree I remember from last year. We also have our Christmas shower curtain. All right, a little update on this section here. So kept it kind of black and white and I really like it. The home pod has been moved, so sorry, babe. And I also moved this light over here, as you guys can tell. Then I've got this Pottery Barn reindeer. Um, and yeah, I really like the black, white, and gold with the greenery. I think that is pretty. Now to figure out this. <laughs> 
Okay, I just added this Santa because the greenery on him matches this greenery. It's kind of the blue green. Is it too cluttered? I don't know, I think I like it. And then I just put up the garland and the pillows from Home Goods. Let me put the lights on. I love this garland. Oh, it's so cute. And the colors are so, so perfectly matching with the same shade of green. So, there's our little kitchen nook. Okay, I'm having a really hard time with decorating this console table. I just don't love this. So, when we go decor shopping, we'll see what we find, but all the decor is out that I have and that I want to use this year. This area is my favorite. Um, I also need to get more command strips to put this up here. Um, and this is what I came up with so far for a little centerpiece, but I'm definitely not content with it yet. So that'll come along as we continue the vlogs. I think this was a good start to decorating. We will continue in the vlogs. We'll do some poking around at Walmart and Target. So hope you guys are excited. I hope this got you in the Christmas spirit. I love you guys and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.